What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and today um, is a very special day in the automotive world in the UK. Um, it's the 1st of October 2014 which means that ta tax discs for the first time in 93 years I've read on Facebook um, become obsolete. So I've got my car over here and uh, we're currently uh, in the park area. My car looks quite good there. So what we're going to do is um, head out for a ride, see who switched on um, in terms of taking their tax disc off their car. Uh, still got tax, tax disc on their car. I'm going to take mine off and uh, we're going to talk about uh, what the new rules are, uh, why it's happened um, and uh, what the sort of fine is if you still have uh, not paid your tax. So uh, in we go. Oh, sunglasses going to get caught there. Got a nice nice uh, close up of my face. First things first is uh, my tax disc is still in and uh, <coughs> for the first time in 93 years so it survived two world wars apparently according to Facebook. Ah. <coughs> there you go. The uh, gym has paid off, that was quite sticky. Um, stuck to my hand. <laughs> first things first, uh, won't be needing that out the window, that goes. That just, well, I should probably get that, that's littering. And I don't condone littering whatsoever. But I thought it would look good for the video. Oh, I've got it. It's still, uh, people could probably see that as well. I don't know whether you can fraud, well, you obviously can't fraud tax discs now, but um, it's best not to leave things in the, in the middle of the road. So um, I'm just going to pop that there. And um, yeah, let's head out. Try and find... That was squeaky. Let's try and find people who are just as switched on as me and um, have also removed their tax disc. So there's no tax disc. I'm going to get outside and check out what it looks like from um, the exterior point of view. They got a tax disc. They've still got a tax disc, not a switched on. But I like the look. I think it really cleans up the windscreen. Um, we've still got the SB Race sticker on, of course. And um, yeah, I'm pleased with this little um, reduction. We're really going to just go for a cruise, talk about the tax discs and um, their implications of them not being in the car anymore. Basically what's going to happen is it's all going to be um, done online, police and cameras and everything like that. Um, the technologies have advanced so much that they don't need the plastic, th uh, the pieces of paper anymore. And um, a lot of people actually um, who um, renewed their tax disc last month and the month before just got sent a piece of paper and um, they didn't even get the um, cut out um, because it was just, com I think they just ran out of paper. I think that's what it was, they just ran out of paper. So all of those cars there had uh, tax discs on and as we come around the corner there, they've got a tax disc on, they've got a tax disc on, they have, they have, and they have. This cyclist doesn't need one. They've got a tax disc. 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 And they have. And they have. And they have. And they have. I'm really, oh, there's a car behind. I'm too busy looking at tax discs. So um, it would seem that we're gonna need more than 60 miles of fuel to find someone, they've, yeah, they've still got a tax disc as well. We're gonna need more than 60 miles of fuel. There you go, there's the, can you see the van behind? No, can you see it there? Yeah, so that was who was waiting whilst I was looking at tax discs. Aston Martin then. Nice. So anyway, let's go back to um, 
we found out why that we don't need our um, di paper discs anymore and it's all done online um, and I read online as well that if you don't show your tax this or you don't have tax at all then you're going to be charged £1,000 in court now I've seen up in London Lamborghini Aventadors with more than £1,000 as a tax cost so what, like, that just seems ridiculous that um, you might as well not tax your Lamborghini because it's cheaper. Because if you do tax it, you're going to be paying 1,200 quid, 1,300 quid, however much it costs to tax it. This costs 500 pounds a year to tax, so unfortunately um, I it was cheaper for me to actually pay tax. But for Aventador owners and maybe Bugatti Veyrons and things like that, where they're in a, such a high tax bracket that it costs over 1,000 pounds, don't even bother. Just wait until we get fined and it costs a thousand pounds which is a lot cheaper so um i thought that was quite funny um probably again something i don't condone because it says you have to pay a thousand pound tax fine through court um so if you don't want to waste your time with all of the court stuff then uh, just pay it and pay an extra hundred pound or whatever don't pull out on me i've got a camera that's not attached to the dashboard it's going to go everywhere so we don't have a tax disc anymore which is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Everyone else is still got tax discs in their car, um, and I feel like I'm the only one that switched on. First of October 2014, no need for them. So uh, from now on, no tax disc in my car. It looks clean. I can see perfectly through that circle bit that I couldn't see before. So that's a real benefit from not having a tax disc. Well done, government, on that one. Um, and. The one other thing that I thought was quite funny or weird and is definitely going to cause a lot of confusion is when you're buying the second-hand cars now, the tax isn't associated with the car, it's associated with the owner. So if I was to sell this car tomorrow, I would have to uh, go out of my way to get the refund back um, from whoever you pay, the DVLA. You pay the tax to the DVLA, so I would have to go out of my way to get the refund. The new owner won't be allowed to drive the car until they've sorted out tax themselves. So when you buy a new car now, or when you buy a used car that's gonna be new to you, uh, that's really confusing actually. When you buy a new second-hand car, no, that doesn't make sense either. When you buy a second-hand car that's going to be new to you, it's down to you to sort out the insurance and the tax. I'll probably do that at the same time just so you've got everything covered. Um, but. See ya. And now you're literally filming where the tax disc is and I can't see back through the windscreen. How annoying, right? There you go. Caught it. What a catch as well. I'm going to try and leave that in so you guys can see the catch. And now you're blurry. I hope that's not ruined this. No, back to normal now. Yeah, back to normal. So there's my bit of advice if you're buying a second-hand car, a bit of Supercars of London. Um, used car buying advice is um, now that the tax has changed, if you're going to buy a second-hand car tomorrow, make sure that you have sorted your insurance and your tax out because it's now attached to you rather than the car. Interesting fact for you today, and I just thought that I'd make this topical video on tax discs because it is a sort of end of an era, uh, 93 years. Like I said, I read it on Facebook. Whether that's real or not is another story. Um, what you read on Google is Wikipedia probably isn't real either. It's just all uh, fantasy. So there you go. Tax discs are no longer in cars. Although they're in every single car that's around me and every single car that I've seen, one behind as well. Um, looks like I'm the only one that doesn't have a tax disc. There we go guys, there's some few interesting facts and information um, about the new tax disc uh, laws and if you've got a Lamborghini Aventador, don't bother paying it, it's cheaper. Um, and the last one is um, tax discs are all round better, not in your car. You can see out of that bit of the window now, so I can see the railings. Um, and also from the exterior point of view, it makes the car look a lot cleaner. 
as well. So thank you for watching. Um, keep these comments going as well on what colour I should wrap the car. So far, the two colours in the lead are definitely the black camo um, and baby blue with black camo as the details. And I'm also looking at a few sort of exterior additions as well, like um, a carbon spoiler or a carbon front splitter. So uh, I'm really sort of trying to go all out uh, over the winter period and make my car look as unique and cool as possible. Um, for the foreseeable future until I decide to upgrade my car to the Lamborghini Veneno which will be coming in 2045 so definitely subscribe for that that is going to be amazing when I get my Veneno um, hopefully when it's depreciated um, enough for in 2045 there won't be any fuel so the car will uh, be worthless so i'll have it as a uh, life-size model and uh, yeah i'm rambling now so thank you for watching you're gonna slide off so i will see you guys tomorrow whoa look at that clear you're not gonna see me tomorrow actually you're gonna see me on thursday for throwback thursday and then i've got some really cool videos to be filming over the weekend i'm going to be heading into knightsbridge as well with this car so i'm looking forward to seeing a lot of you guys i haven't seen in ages um and of course filming for uh supercars of london supercars in london whatever you want to call it one final thing before i head back in and um Get editing on this video and uploading it i just thought that i'd uh there's obviously lots and lots of companies out there um automotive companies that uh want to promote themselves on their customer cars and do things like this so uh sb race engineering i had a tax disc holder sb race engineering um but i've seen a fair amount um there's boxes and boxes and boxes of tax disc holders which are now completely useless so um just wanted to finish off with this blog i think i've just lost that elastic band finish off this blog with uh, saying that i think this year's bonfire night in the uk is going to be a lot bigger than any other year because there's going to be so many companies burning thousands and thousands of tax disc holders that literally have no use whatsoever which um thought i thought was quite funny so uh there you go guys thanks for watching see you soon so I thought that I was finishing the vlog in the car, but I'm back up in the office on my laptop and I've just signed on to the uh, news and the DVLA website has crashed. The uh, digital system has crashed because people are signing on and uh, trying to renew their tax discs uh, and it's showing that 1.2 million, oh no, no, sorry, different stat. But again, I, I think I said in the beginning of this video that I won't believe everything that's seen in the news and the media, but this, this is just quite funny. Quite a funny way to finish up the uh, video and uh, maybe after this video and I've just uh, exposed so many people having their tax discs uh, in their car. Still, even though it is now 10 past 12, so it's past midday, we've had half a day um, for the tax discs to be disappeared and there's still so many of them. So I think it's going to take a good uh, week or two before we, we really see a... Uh, uh, disappearance of tax discs and making these supercars look a lot better so uh there you go just sort of a last uh, funny thing that i saw on the internet cheers guys